Hello all, myself Dr. A. R. Deshmukh from Department of Engineering Sciences. In this video, we are going to learn the concept, basic principle of optical fiber from engineering physics subject. Fiber optics are often long stand of very pure glass. They are very thin. They are about size of human hairs and due to the small size, hundred to thousands of these uh, fiber can be arranged in a bundles uh, as we can see here and these bundles can we can say in day to day life optical cables and these optical fibers can transmit the light for a very long distance uh, if we want to understand the construction of this optical fiber there are three main parts of, of this optical fiber one is core second is cladding and third is buffer coating so the core is made up of glass with a very high refractive index so that we can say that core are denser medium and the light which passes from for a very long distance they passes through the core cladding is the outer surface to the core which is made up of uh, optical materials but however the these are the rarer medium the material which is used to prepare the cladding surface they are a rarer medium and therefore the refractive index uh, of this cladding is comparatively lower as compared with the core the third part is a buffer coating which is made up of plastic uh, and this is to protect it uh, from the outer damage now transmission of uh, light in an optical fiber is based on the phenomenon of total internal reflection and this is the basic principle of optical fiber by this principle only light can travel for a very long distance as i told you before in the previous slide as well the optical fiber consists of innermost layer known as a core which is a dense made up of dense denser medium uh, the next layer is known as cladding which is a rarer medium so we have already know this concept about when the light traveling from the denser medium to the rarer medium the refracted rays bends away from the normal and when the angle of incident of that light which is inciding incident or traveling uh, from the denser medium to the rarer medium the angle of incidence is when the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle the refracted ray again reflects into the same medium and this phenomena of the ray which is reflecting back into the same medium is called as a total internal reflection now if you understand that total internal reflection and the critical angle from this uh, uh, ray diagram so for example if the ray is traveling from the core to the cladding where, where core is a denser medium and cladding is the rarer medium so when the ray travel and incident at the interface between the core and cladding and transmitted through this or the refracted from this interface between core and cladding it will always bend from the normal and this is the our mm, normal so it is bending away from the normal and when you increase this incident angle one stage will come as this ray is bending so it is bends such that it will pass through the interface between the core and cladding and whatever the angle will be created when the refracted ray is traveling through the interface between the core and cladding that angle we can say that as a critical angle now if you increase again the incident angle then the light will be reflect back into the same medium so this concept of total internal reflection that is the blue ray we uh, achieve the total internal reflection okay when the angle of incidence this is the angle of incidence from blue ray to this normal is greater than critical angle the ray will be reflect back into the same medium that is the denser medium so first light is traveling from denser medium and it will be reflect back into the same denser medium this phenomena is called as a total internal reflection and this is the basic concept 
for the or the basic principle of the uh, fiber optics through which the light travel for a very long distance so from the snell's law if you want to calculate the value of critical angle as we know that from uh, these are the different stages as i have explained in the previous slide uh, how the light will be reflect back into the same medium and from the snell's law for example this n1 sin theta c that is the critical angle where the refracted light uh, ray will be traveled through the interface between the core and cladding and that critical angle will be this if this is a critical angle this will be the 90 angle this refracted angle will be 90 so that here it, it is written as a 90 and from if we Uh, arrange this equation as sin theta c equal to n2 upon n1 so theta c will equal to sin inverse of n2 upon n1 this is how you will be able to calculate the critical angle and this is the total internal reflection uh, when you increase the incident angle uh, when the incident angle is greater than the critical angle the light will be reflect back into the same denser medium I hope you understand the concept of total internal reflection. Thank you.